Welcome, welcome, welcome to Coach Sindhuram, Mind Performance Coach. Today we have a special person here, Coach Vishal Singh. So he is a life coach uh, who has been a sales person and turned into life coach. So let us hear from him how was the journey with reading mastery course and how what impacted him to join. So let's hear a few words from him. So Vishal sir, can you give some introduction about you? Yes, yeah, so I have been a sales professional for the last... Uh... 15 plus years and overall 17 years in the corporate industry and uh, now I have uh, launched myself as a life coach. Very good, nice. So are you reading books before you, uh, are you reading books? Yes, so I uh, started my self-development in the year 2019 and uh, that is when I got introduced to the books because in the training programs, the trainers or the speakers used to talk about the books. And then I was really looking at changing my life back then. So that's when I cultivated the habit of reading. So how did you start reading books? Uh, so I think it started with a, a book called Who Moved My Cheese? And that's when I started seeing a difference. And then I went on to read the books like uh, The Success Principles of Jack Canfield and then Think Like a Monk by Jack Jay Shetty. And while reading the books, I realized that uh, it sinks in. Whatever we read goes to all the parts of our body. And then I see a transformation. So that is when I decided to make this as a habit. And uh, I kept on reading books since then. Wow, nice. Nice to hear you have read a lot of books. Okay, as, as you are already a reader. So what made you to join this journey with me? And uh, how was the journey? Okay, so I realized that if I have to get the ancient knowledge or the, the knowledge that is written in Bible, Gita, Quran, you know, the best way to read is, the uh, best way to know about all that is by reading. And also what happens is in case I want to know about somebody, suppose a doctor, I may not have a doctor friend, but then the best place to get to know about a doctor is by reading about a doctor and that is available in books. So with books, we can reach the personalities or the people or the situation in life that we can't reach, we can't experience in our life directly. So that is what motivated me to read books. And as a life coach, I need to experience all that because it is about my life and it is about others' life. And the more I read, the more I am able to give to people. So, but then while I was doing it, I was not very regular in the sense uh, there was no continuity. I read one book in two weeks, another book I take about a month's time. So that's where I wanted to learn the way, the learn the speed techniques and at the same time memorize things so that uh, I'm able to recall it when it is really required for my client. So that's why I got into speed reading. And how was it and how could you feel the transformation before and after? Yeah, so there was a transformation because uh, so many techniques were taught and uh, the best thing was for the retention, mind map was also taught and uh, especially with you, I mean, it was one to one. So time was not a problem. Like it was the schedule uh, was worked out between us and then you were also like going beyond the time in order to give value and ensure that I get everything. And we did so many speed drill practices together. So that was wonderful in this journey. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shushan. So, so, okay. Let me ask you one question. Uh, you have read so many books. So can you tell me what one book had impacted your life and uh, any key takeaway that you made it in your transformation of your life? Yes. Yeah, so the best book, I think, uh, as of now is uh, Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty because... Uh, that gives a clear picture about life, you know, so that has changed my life. And uh, again, when it comes to spirituality, then we can, uh, uh, I mean, there is a book called, uh, mm -hmm. okay, or else I think one more book, I think before a thing like a monk happened, I read uh, this book called Loving What Is by Byron Quetty. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to be very, very judgmental by nature. So after that, after reading that book, I calmed down and uh, instead of uh, thinking about or blaming about things, I started responding 
and I was not complaining much because I realized that uh, it has nothing to do with me and uh, I should be responsible for what I am doing. So I think it started with that and then I read the book Think Like a Monk. Nice Jay transformation. Jay. That is really no complaint challenge, right? So yeah. we used to complain everyone, any like wherever we go. So that's a good impact that you had with that book. Amazing. And uh, like one more question, can I ask? Like, uh, what message would you like to give to the people who are looking for reading books? Before uh, anybody, I think I can say that. Uh, read as many books as possible or at least cultivate the habit of reading if you are not in that space because uh, there is something beyond our life and books teach us a lot so if we have to go beyond something then we have to also go beyond in terms of our learnings and once we learn we can always implement in our life so books uh, is something that can give us uh, the correct knowledge correct information about doing things you know so that's nice. Thank you so much, Vishal. Sir. All the best for your journey as a life coach and hope you have a great success in your life. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. All the best to you too. Thank you so much.